and welcome to your gun market update for today the 1st of july 2022 mike smith senior analyst at gun markets here to walk you through what's happening in the markets today let's have a look at the news and of course overnight we had a slightly weaker session on wall street after mixed data came out the jobs data was a little weaker than expected pce data was mixed and suggesting inflation is still high but did show a slight drop from last month's figures so we've still got the caution persisting regarding uh, medium-term economic conditions inflation and of course energy costs but at the end of june we saw the s p 500 record its worst first half of the year since 1970 that's over 50 years of course u.s futures are slightly above neutral in asia and asian indices are up but generally cautious we've seen a nice bounce in the asx up around about 0.75 percent in early trading and european futures are pointing to a soft open the U.S. dollar index has tested but failed to break those mid-June highs yesterday. It is slightly weaker in Asia in early doors, but very choppy. Gold has fallen through the important 1820 level we've been referencing in the last few days and looks for a test of 1800. Oil has also fallen for the second day in a row and is moving towards 110 a barrel on the Brent crude contract. We're below 110 on the WTI contract, of course. Uh, the VIX is still stuck around 28 level, so still historically high, but the fact that it is holding below 30 should be seen as a positive. Bitcoin is testing the $20,000 support. It spent most of the US session well below that. It is trading at 18 month lows. It'll be interesting to see how it closes the week and then opens again on Monday. On the data front, we've had Japanese CPI higher than expected, but weaker jobs. Later on in the session, we've got global PMI starting with the Chinese number this morning and then through into Europe and the US later on. And this is really an important number in terms of measuring that economic situation and seeing how soft things are getting. A couple of charts caught our eye this morning. We'll have a look at them right now. Uh, we're going to start with the Canadian dollar yen. This has been trading within a range of around about 180 pips, as you see on the chart for the last couple of weeks. So we are testing the top of this at around about 105.55. If we look at the hourly chart, you can see there we did sell off during the US session there, but we're back up to 155.55. If we do get a break of this, possibly 105.62 could see us fairly easily and quickly up around about 106, which is around this level here that you can see on the chart. That's around 34, 35 pips from where we are now. And there could be further momentum if we see continued weakness in the yen throughout the day on the back of that data that's come out already. On the ASX, there's a few interesting stocks going on. One of the ones that catches our eye is Grain Corp. You can see, uh, if we just pop it on a line chart for a minute on the daily chart, you can see what sort of resembles a double bottom type of formation with a slight pullback. But now, well, now we are testing through this 9.55 level. i pop it back on the candles. You can see, although... We had a, a more encouraging start to the morning session. We can see we've just dropped off a little bit. So to get really interested in this, we'll be looking for a close over 970 technically, which could see us move back up towards $10 over the course of the next couple of weeks, perhaps. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.